Hello students, let's continue our journey through linear equations in one variable. Today, we are going to deal with some more applications of solving a linear equation, having linear expression on one side and numbers on the other side. We all have a playground in our school. A kind of playground is shown here. Some students are playing cricket. We can also see that two players are standing on the pitch. Let's look at the pitch more closely. It looks like a rectangle. If the perimeter of the pitch is 49 meters and its width is three and a half meter, then what will be its length? Given that the perimeter of the pitch is 49 meters and its width is three one by two meters equals three multiplied by two plus one divided by two equals seven by two meters. We have to find the length of the pitch. If we take the length as X meter, since the pitch resembles a rectangle, then the perimeter equals two multiplied by the sum of length and breadth. That is equal to two multiplied X plus seven by two, which is equal to 49. Transpose 2 to RHS. X plus 7 by 2 equals 49 by 2. X plus 7 by 2 equals 49 by 2. Transposing 7 by 2 to RHS. We get X equals 49 by 2 minus 7 by 2 equals 42 by 2 equals 21 that is the length of the pitch is x equals 21 meters let's see another example the sum of three consecutive multiples of 12 is 432 find these multiples we know that the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, etc. It is clear that each consecutive number differs by 12. Generally, if x is a multiple of 12, then the next multiple is x plus 12, and the next to this is x plus 12 plus 12, that is x plus 24. Given that the sum of three consecutive multiples is 432, that is x plus x plus 12 plus x plus 24 equals 432. That is 3x plus 36 equals 432. Transpose 36 to IHS. 3x equals 432 minus 36 equals 396 transpose 3 to ihs therefore x equals 396 divided by 3 equals 132 therefore the required three consecutive multiples of 12 are x equals 132 x plus 12 equals 132 plus 12 equals 144 x plus 24 equals 132 plus 24 equals 156 
Before winding up, let's do an activity to find out how much you understood. The sum of three consecutive multiples of seven is 357, find the smallest multiple. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.